What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> so you read the title and yes, it's story time. I decided to do story time before I go ahead and go on to this appointment because it was on my mind this morning after leaving the gym and I said, you know what y'all? I want to do a story time. I want to talk about the time I got put out when I was 12 with me and my me and my sister, my older sister, we're a year apart. Um, I just felt like because back to school was in and a lot of girls are going through a phase in their life where they probably feel like they don't belong or they're trying to figure out their life. So I figured maybe this will be some type of motivation for you. Yes, I did get kicked out at 12. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get into this video, guys. So me and my older sister were a year apart, so we were extremely close. I mean, we had, she's more girly, I'm, I was tomboyish, and we had kind of different crowds, but it's funny because our boyfriends, yes, boyfriends, we was hot in the ass, y'all know that, and that's why I'm doing this story, because maybe when my daughter get older, she'll listen to this story, and she'll take heed. <laughs> but anyways, we had, um, boyfriends and they were cousins so it was a little bit easier to hang around each other and this was I believe I was at the end of like seventh grade going into eighth grade or it was eighth grade because because my sister was in high school I think when this happened yeah yeah I think it was eighth grade it was the beginning of eighth grade yes it was yep and so me and my sister we would hang out we would hang out with our friends and we decided that we were gonna go to um, my boyfriend at that time's um, house party. He had a house party on Friday, and normally we would go skating at the, um, the our local middle school. And so I told my dad, like, "Hey, dad, can we go to the skating party?" Because he already knew that we would go. So we kind of lied and said that <laughs> we were going there, but we really went to a party because it was kind of like the same amount of hours. And yeah, that didn't really happen. So we went to the party, had a good time hanging out with friends, and like to cut in the middle of the story, like I used to, we used to run the streets a lot. Like even being a 12 and a 13, 14 ish year old, um, we really hanged out a lot with our friends in the community. Um, so like every after school, everyone would be outside ripping and running. Like it wasn't like, oh, I'm going all the way over here. Like we would just be hanging out, having a good time. It was just so funny. We went and like um, at the time, my father he was remarried. He um, he had um, my stepmom at the time, and my stepmom was like, she was already kind of like fed up with us doing running the streets, not listening to her. And you know, as a child, you really don't think about those things. Like you have a nonchalant attitude where you really don't care for an adult, especially if they aren't your mom, biological mother. Um, and I think that's kind of like what we did. Um, looking back now as a grown woman who has children, I look back and say, yikes. But the thing about it is I wasn't really disrespectful as a child. It was more so just not listening type of thing or doing chores and doing the things that I was supposed to do at the age. Not listening, being hot in the ass, wanting to run the streets. Let's just keep it real, keep it real, keep it true. Um, yeah, you know, to the house party and we stay out way past our time. And what do you know, we get home, my father is waiting there. Like, where you been at? Where the hell y'all ass been at? I went to the school, the skate party been over, and I was like, I'm looking at my sister, I'm like, we in trouble. <laughs> like, we in trouble. So then the next day, um, my brother was like, my stepbrother was like, yeah, y'all getting put out, this and the third. And my stepmother was like, cause I can't deal with this. I can't deal with your kids. They get, they doing this. They don't listen to me, blah, blah, blah. So we end up living, moving <laughs> with my grandma. And at that time in my life, like I was so heartbroken because I was like, how my father just gonna like, 
let allow someone to throw us out but now as an adult as an as a married adult I now understand that you know your spouse comes first but growing up I really didn't understand at all like I had some hatred towards him and her like let's just keep it real and funky and but you know what it was one of the biggest blessings in my entire life like me and my grandmother we are thick as thieves like that is my road dog like um like she's someone that i basically call my mom because she has really she really changed she is the person that changed my life around um i really when i was in school in middle school i really was not involved in my studies as i should have and when i moved when we got kicked out and moved with my grandma you know she really changed my life around because she was more stricter so i was able to like she was really fucking strict like i'm not even joking like better not go up that porch better not better not have no people calling my house like my friends will tell you i couldn't do shit <laughs> but you know what looking back it really helped to help me it allowed me to determine who i wanted to be in this world because i honestly believe if i stayed on that trail and that path i would either have been a teen mom i would have dropped out of high school probably or i probably wouldn't have went to school period um skipping school i would have just like made made by and my future after graduating high school i probably wouldn't have been on the path that i am now like post going to school going to my bachelor's and finishing my master's and probably even meeting my husband now so like that's why i say like this story is really important because it can change your freaking life like i know you may think ripping and running the streets is good right now but it's not it is not like it's just for the now you have to think about your present and what's going to happen when you get out of high school where do you see yourself in five years and that was me i did not see myself doing anything after high school like let's just keep it real like so my grandma when we moved with my grandma mind you i lived in a house with nine people before we got kicked out everything was scarce food was scarce clothes was scarce so when i moved with my grandmother it was like the biggest blessed hitting blessing ever like me and my sister was able to like get our own get own clothing we didn't have to share anymore it was like a blessing in disguise like it was really my guardian angel that changed my life grandmother was really strict on like grades and all that so like i ended up graduating valedictorian of my high school you may have heard that in my um advice for going back to school you may have heard that story how i was valedictorian like i had no goals my life was really on a path of trying to figure me out i hated life wanted to commit suicide because my mother my biological mother was never there she did drugs and i'm not about to make this video about her but that's just what it was like i was trying to figure out who stephanie was and i really didn't know who i was and my dad and he did the best that he could that's why i could never hate him because regardless even though like my younger sister because i have another sister after me um she stayed with my dad but me and my older sister didn't and we didn't live together for a certain period of time but it honestly it still kept us really tight because you know we were able to um as we became adults we we seen each other more like my nieces are my godchildren because that's how close our bond is with family but yeah and a lot of people don't realize how tight me and my older sister's bond is because they really don't know what we went through like me and my sister before we moved we got kicked out what we used to fight every day omg but then when we got kicked out it was like god was saying you two need to get it together you are blood and this ain't about to be happening like we became so much stronger we hardly fuss we hardly fight um you know like our lives really changed yeah it was strict environment but you know what i'm very appreciative for that because i wouldn't be the woman that i am today and that's why i really wanted to share this story with you all because i know there's someone out there a young girl or guy who is struggling with their identity struggling with trying to figure out who they are in a whole in a nutshell especially going to high school and you're trying to figure out who you are and your life you may not have everything that you want and you may come from a dysfunctional background as such 
as me and that's why I say like I really hope that this video can inspire you because listen y'all I was able to go to college I was able to get my masters I even had children in these two phases of my life but you know what if it wasn't for my backbone my grandmother being in my corner uplifting me being on my back I'm so appreciative to that because I know what tough love is now and I know how to give it to my children and I know how to be a better mother than my own mom or in, and not even in a bad way but to do things differently and to make sure that my children know that they are loved because like I didn't, he I didn't hear I love you from my dad so to hear my grandmother tell me she loved me and that she was there for me it really changed my whole entire world so that's why parents if you're watching this tell your kids you love them tell them that you are here for them even when they get on your everlasting nerve and you want to smack them into a wall show them tough love because I'm telling you it will pay off because I'm a prime example of what tough love can do for you for your family so that's basically the story guys yep I got kicked out at the age of 12 um I learned what being responsible was about. It changed my entire world. Some of you out there I know probably want to run away. Don't run away. Face your problems because that's the problem with society now. We run away from our issues and we don't face them. So guys, I really hope you like this story time. It was. I hope it was short and sweet to the point and I really hope it can inspire you guys out there because that's what my channel is all about. And I have more story time coming for you all because trust me, just because I may be positive, I have done some things that may inspire you a little bit more. So stay tuned for my next video, guys, and let me know what you would like to see in upcoming videos. I have a special project coming, guys, dealing with postpartum depression because me, myself, have went through it after having my children. So I have a really great series coming for you all, and I really hope you stay tuned to my channel because I have so much to give and so much love to show. So. Please share this video with someone you may know that is in high school or middle school and thinking about doing dumb decisions and let them know what a dumb decision can cost them but also show tough love even if it's your, your sibling or your niece or your nephew. Guys, so I'll see you in my next video.